in this short video, we would like to demonstrate Decaho's advanced features for planning of complex environments, such as warehouses where uh, various materials, metallic materials, uh, racking systems, as well as concrete do exist. In order to demonstrate the capabilities, we have a map prepared, which has a perspective as well as top view. Uh, as it is evident, the, the warehouse itself is 10 meters wide, 18 meters long, and 9 meters high. It is composed of concrete wall, as well as uh, metallic floors. In addition to the racking system, which is situated on the top of the second floor. In order to start working on this project, the uh, first thing that we need to do is we need to scale. Uh, we know the length is 18 meters. So we define the length to be 18 meters. And one scale is enough because the ratio of the map is correct. Next thing that we need to do is we define the uh, attenuation surfaces, which is the walls on our com concrete. So we select attenuation surfaces, uh, concrete, and we know the height of the wall is 9 meters. So we define 9 meters. And simply draw the walls. Next thing that we need to do, or strategy that I have, is to design and define the racking systems which are situated on the second floor. Uh, one of the nice features of Ikaho is it will allow users to define any volumes at any height, uh, with any height. Uh, we select attenuation volume, rectangular, because they are rectangular in shape and they are marked in green color on the floor. Uh, we know the racks are sitting six meters above the ground and they go up to the height of 9 meters, so they have a net height of 2 meters. So we define the material to be warehouse rack at 18 dB per meter loss uh, at, for attenuation. We define the distance from the floor to the, top, uh, to the top of the rack at 9 meters, and distance from the floor to the bottom of the rack at 6 meters. So that will create a net height of 3 meters for us. And once we start drawing, we will be able to see that the 3 meter height is clearly defined within the shaded area for the warehouse racks. All these uh, areas are editable at a later time, and users can modify at will. Next thing that we need to define is the uh, floor of the, uh, that is second floor itself, which has a height of 20 centimeters and it is sitting six meters above the ground. For this, we will select a high attenuation material, which is elevator as well. Distance from the floor to the top of the uh, floor is six meters. Distance from the floor to the bottom of the this floor is 5.8 meters, and that will create a 20 centimeter floor for us. And we can simply define the floor. And we should be able to see that 20 centimeters reflected here. Next, we need to do is to define the first floor, which is a non rectangular shape. In order to do that, we select freeform attenuation volume same material and the distance from the floor to the top of that object which is the floor is three meters and distance from the floor to the bottom of that object which is 5.8 meters will create a 20 centimeter uh, floor for us so we define first this parameter at 2.8 meters and this parameter at three meters and that should create for us a, a 20 centimeters uh, floor. And in the free form, we will simply go and superimpose the area. And we should be able to see that 20 centimeters here as well. Next thing we need to do is define the coverage area, which is 
where the signal should be propagating to. And last but not least, we need to uh, go to auto planning mode, which will allow displacement of or placement of access points within the environment. We, we are optimizing this network for uh, 5 gigahertz using uh, AC radios. We can select any of the radios within the list. I've selected the generic one for demonstration purposes. We can change the height of the antenna now or at any time later. Uh, define channel bonding or not, short guard interval, all these parameters are definable within the system. Once we say create plan, you can see that the plan is created, all the access points are placed within this environment, and uh, if you want to see the signal strength uh, for all access points, we can simply see that. As you can see, uh, everything is not very visible. Uh, in order to make the uh, heat map more visible, we can simply uh, change the view and turn off the attenuation area itself and we can see what is going on under uh, the uh, basically volumes that we have created and surfaces that we have created. Now, it is also clear that we don't have enough coverage so we can now modify the existing plan and see what are the cause and effect. As an example, I can move this access point uh, from the height of 12 meters to the height of 5.8 meters right below here to see what would happen to my coverage uh, for, for that specific floor, uh, which probably I would not have coverage if the antennas are sitting at 12 meters high. Uh, I will also select this one as well. So I have two radios that I want to shift to uh, lower floor and I would be able to modify those radios and bring the height to 5.8 meters and we can now see all of a sudden with these radios we have coverage of the entire floor and below it as well. Uh, additionally, what we can do is we can turn and we, we can change the angle of these antennas and pitch it downward and see what are the cause and effect. So I will turn off these two, which can be turned off either from here or from here. Select these two antennas and we want to bring the angle down to have more coverage for the upper floors. In order to do that, again, we select those two radios. Uh, we will select edit simulated access points and we'll tilt the antenna down by 40 degrees or 45 degrees. And we can see now all of a sudden we have better coverage. Not only now we can do that, we can also modify the angle the yaw of the antenna and direct it in different directions to see what are the cause and effect as well. Uh, in order to do that, we simply select that specific antenna and we will rotate the angle and see what will happen. Of course, the labels will not allow me to see what's going on. So I can again go to view mode and I can change and remove the name of the antenna so I can see what is going on below it. I can simply rotate the antenna angle to see where is, whether there is any cause and effect. Of course, you will not see it because I selected the wrong AP. Uh, I will deselect this one and select the other AP to see the cause and effect. As you can see now, we have better coverage by pointing the access point in this area. Now you can see the combined effect and it is improved better. And uh, also we can move one of the access points and to see what will happen. So I can move this access point further down in the hallway and uh, see whether both now are covering enough or not. So these things can be adjusted at any time and modified per user requirements, both the angle tilts as well as the uh, channel coverage. We can also bring this one into play and also tilt this antenna down. Uh, I will deselect the other two 
and select this one and I will tilt this one downward to minus 45 degrees as well as the other antenna as well for the same AP minus 45 degrees and as you can see now we have complete coverage of the warehouse we can also add access points at any time to the existing fan by selecting the from the list we can select for example the 4x4 MIMO and place one at this location and then edit its characteristics by selecting that access point itself and changing the height uh, if necessary or changing any other specific parameters. This concludes our demonstration of ECAHO's advanced features for planning of complex environments.